Time now for the executive edge. Apple and other consumer brands have lowered prices for their products in China. A cut in the country's value-added tax kicked in yesterday, and price tags for Apple products dropped on the company's website, and with discounts of up to $75 for some of the latest iPhone models. And the price of Louis Vuitton and Gucci products dropped by about 3%, according to local media reports. Uh, BMW and Mercedes previously announced that it would lower, uh, that they would lower uh, prices following yesterday's tax cut. The move is part of uh, China's effort to stimulate its slowing economy and narrow the price gap between it and uh, some overseas markets. But those, are those real Louis Vuitton or China Louis Vuitton bags? That's the question. They're, I think they're, real ones. Huh? They're real I ones. guess real ones. They have real ones over there? Yeah. I don't it's know. Down here where we don't. Uh, there's plenty of them over there. Yeah, down on Canal Street, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, separately, uh, Joe teased this uh, before the break. Uh, a new report from Forbes saying that hackers in China have now found a way to trick Tesla models, Model S's, we should say specifically, into going into the wrong lane when it's using autopilot. What happens here is they are strategically placing some stickers on the road. Just by putting what? these little stickers on the road, the car will then track those stickers as opposed to track the actual lane. Keen Labs, which by the way is, is known as one of the sort of uh, high-end, I don't want to say high-end hacking outfits, but one of the high-end engineering outfits, oh has gosh. developed several attacks to mess with Tesla's autopilot. One of these creating a fake lane with just three inconspicuous stickers on the road. By the way, originally they tried to actually put lane markings, but they thought they were too conspicuous. So this was, they were trying to see if they could do it without people noticing. On a test track, the hackers tricked the car into switching lanes. This to me, that is not horrifying. just represents a problem for Tesla, no, but for, auto, for any but autonomous long -term, driving. This goes back to all of the issues we've been talking about, about with these autonomous vehicles. People are going to be doing all sorts of things to try to trick cars uh, into different things all yeah. the time, all the time. I I did, it. We, we keep hearing that, oh, autonomous vehicles are five years away, 10 years away. You hear stuff like this and you think it's never happening. Right. And you had some conversations out in Silicon Valley yeah. where you talked about other problems. So many people would suggest, would say, we are so far away, they start, they say, would you really want an autonomous vehicle going through the middle of Times Square, right. honestly? Right. Or would, you, would, you want a, would you want one going to an airport? Right. That's um, pretty low tech, too. And that's yeah. pretty low tech. It's all it's pretty low tech. Totally low Stickers, tech. Stickers, right. Well, I mean, there must be some special type of sticker, I'm assuming. I mean, it's not, but. The and those are security, those are security yeah. concerns. But yeah. I mean, the, the things I'm talking about in, in, in that respect. By the way, one of the interesting things that I had not even thought about when I mentioned airports, uh, there's the security issue. Very hard for an autonomous vehicle today and possibly ever to actually deal with going to an airport or picking people up in an airport where there's, lots, through the lanes. Where there's lots of cars yeah. and lots of commotion or picking people up from a stadium. Mm -hmm. you know, but you think those are probably the, what you would have thought it would be the first use, use cases. Right. Families would use one of these cars to like a lift a or a, to, right. to go to the airport right. or go to a baseball game or whatever right. it is. Way more complicated than we were probably giving it credit for. Yeah. And I, I hadn't thought about some of those issues until so you came back and talked about them too. And then it becomes an infrastructure story. Then, I mean, it's possible airports could redo the infrastructure of how, so where these things go. you see something like go. these stupid stickers. And then you see the stickers. Right. So.